Good afternoon, it's Weather United, and in today's update, we are watching a massive winter storm across the Great Lakes that is still expected to bring quite a bit of lake effect snow today, very strong winds, along to go with high surf on Lake Michigan and some of the Great Lakes, along to go with the chance for some showers and thunderstorms across the region. Now, if you're new to the channel and you like the detailed update, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting that thumbs up button, and sharing this video with their family and friends on social media. And not only that, if you want to participate in the Weather United Discord server, there's a link in the description below this video. Or if you want to become a member today to show extra support, there's a link in the description below to that as well. So taking a look at the visible satellite imagery, we can see that the system has really spun up really quickly. We can see a lot of the circulation here, really strong winds here over Lake Michigan. They're just howling out of the northerly direction here, and that's really helping to increase instability over the warm lake waters. By the way, these waters are still in the upper 50s, and so when you get temperatures aloft in like the 20s or even lower that really agitates things we get a lot of instability and moisture that also advects into the region really helps entice the lake effect snow machine to get turned on it doesn't have to be just snowfall you can also see some heavy lake effect rainfall coming off the lake waters over the michigan area today and then of course over uh, lake erie you're also seeing a little bit of some lake effect going on there as far as rain rain showers and snow showers as this thing really spins and I mean it's spinning pretty dang good right now bringing with it even some really cold arctic air that is really going to have a grip in the upper midwest and the Great Lakes region over the next few days. So putting this into motion on the HRRR model, which stands for High Resolution Rapid Refresh Model, and we can see this for about 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time over Michigan. And again, take note of that. Some showers and thunderstorms to here due to the cold air aloft. We get some instability that works its way into southwestern Michigan. But this is going to continue, and this could turn into some snowfall overnight tonight. So putting this into motion, we can see as we go into about 11 o'clock into midnight tonight for your Monday into Tuesday, there's a pretty intense lake effect rain and snow band over northern Indiana. Likely the uh, HRRR model is probably over-exaggerating the snow over the Indiana area, but if there's enough cold air at the surface or even aloft, we could get some light to moderate snowfall in that localized area in northern Indiana. So keep that in mind. Also in northern Michigan, you're talking a little bit about snow and this is going to continue into your Tuesday morning so if you're an early bird if you're out wanting to jog if you're going out to work early in the morning your morning commute could really get impacted pretty significantly so this is nine in the morning in northern Michigan you can see not upstate Michigan but the mainland area and you can see quite a bit of snow there. Some darker blues indicate some heavier snow bands and also to the north here. And just remember, everybody, this is mid-October. This is the October 18th snowstorm over the Great Lakes. This is a bit too early for a lot of you. So make sure you got the shovels. Make sure you're bundled up because it's also going to be pretty cool. Some, some um, kind of pop-up snow showers maybe over portions there of West Virginia, northeastern uh, Ohio, even for Pennsylvania and this is going to continue to spiral its way through the area so you're still looking at um, quite a bit of impacts with lake effect snow there coming off of Lake Michigan on the back side of the system as it swirls around uh, throughout Ontario and Quebec Canada and that goes only out to Wednesday morning but again you can see here on the forecast snow showers going to continue now probably through Wednesday might even now carry into early Thursday morning so we have all day today all day tomorrow tomorrow could be a big big day probably the bigger day of the week and then um, by Wednesday and by Thursday, we are going to still contend with uh, widely isolated to scattered snow showers in the Great Lakes region. As far as your snowfall total goes, we can see how this is all going to end up shaping up throughout the next, say, 60 hours. Look at the snowfall totals there over northern Michigan. I'm going to get into a little bit more better detail uh, on this in just a second, but you can see little, quite a bit of snowfall is anticipated. So here's a look at that snow 
snowfall total in better detail. Ironwood in Wisconsin, maybe three inches of snowfall. Marquette in Michigan, about 10 to 11 inches if you're in Escandaba. There in Michigan, five to six inches of snowfall, but otherwise to the south, you can just see trace amounts. Not a big snow deal for um, southern and central Wisconsin. In Michigan, on the other hand, here in Alpena, Transfer City, Mount Pleasant, you could see a wide range between about three tenths of an inch, maybe up to about eight or nine inches of snowfall. And look at this, down to the southwest of Kalamazoo, localized areas could get two feet of snow, which I mean, there's a 1% chance that's gonna happen. According to the uh, NAM, probably seems to kind of flirt around mess around with the snowfall total so please take that with the grain of salt but there could be quite a bit of snow there anywhere between maybe 1 to 12 inches of snow wide range because again how localized that actually is so that's a look at your snowfall totals make sure you got the shovels the snow plows going because you're probably going to need them because of how heavy that snowfall that lake effect will be on now, as far as the winds go, yeah, there's going to be a lot of wind. And you're already feeling the wind now. It's going to continue all the way throughout today. And we're going to show you the wind gusts, by the way, in just a second. So sustained winds here anywhere between maybe 25 to 40 miles an hour over northern Michigan, the main state there. Lake Michigan, maybe 40 to 55 mile an hour sustained winds. And I mean, look at these winds. Very strong coming in out of the north. Northwesterly winds in Illinois. Indiana, also for Wisconsin, anywhere between maybe 25 to near 30 miles an hour, maybe even 40, approaching 40 in isolated locations. So really strong winds on the back side of this thing. This is a, this is, I'm not going to say it's a monster, super big monster winter storm, but it is definitely an impactful type system. Uh, for mid-October, and I mean, no one's, you You might be used to it, you specifically, but other people, you may not be used to this at all. So this is a big deal for some of you that are not used to shoveling up snow this early in the season. So uh, again, uh, get ready for the wind, get ready for the cold temperatures. There's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun out there trying to clean up all the snow. I'm, you know, I'm being sarcastic, right? But I mean, you're going to love it. It's only mid-October. You have November, you have December, you have January, February, March even, even maybe even early April. You have an opportunity of seeing quite a bit of snow this winter. So yeah, and it's only October and you're already starting to see that winter feel outside. So winds are going to be a big deal with this. We're talking a lot of strong wind gusts out of this system because of the tight pressure gradient that is going to be experienced across the region. So if you're if you're over um, Muskegon, if you're in Transverse City, wind gusts perhaps approaching 30 to 40 miles an hour, but those winds are going to get stronger tonight and even into early tomorrow morning. Look at this, winds in Muskegon, 41 miles an hour, Transverse City, 53, Green Bay, 41. If you're in West Bend, if you're in Milwaukee, if you're in, Kenoshoa, uh, they're at 39 mile an hour wind gusts. Crystal Lake in Illinois, 37 miles an hour. Chicago, 36. If you're in Jackson, Lansing, Flint, anywhere between 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. And this is gonna continue. These winds are going to be very strong. Cold temperatures are anticipated. So wind chill values are gonna be something else out of this. And those winds are gonna continue all the way into perhaps even Wednesday, where you're gonna be still looking at wind gusts between 30 to near 40 miles an hour. It is not until we probably get into uh, Wednesday afternoon into the evening hours when these winds will probably slowly subside into the uh, 15 to 25 mile an hour mark with those wind gusts. Therefore, the National Weather Service's models are predicting there's gonna be some high surf. Yeah, over Lake Michigan, T check this out. We could have waves anywhere between 13 to perhaps even 16 feet this afternoon. Going into the evening hours, look at these wave heights, 18 feet there near Michigan City, if we kind of zoom in on this. St. Joseph, South Haven, 
again going to get some high surf out of this because again the waves are going to be or the winds are going to lead to these high surf these high breaking waves and so keep that in mind if you're going to the beaches uh tomorrow probably no one will because it's going to be too cold and maybe some snow here you're going to be looking at wave heights anywhere between 10 to 18 feet and could get close to 20 feet at times so and even some breakers could approach even 25 feet so keep that in mind if you're going to the beaches tomorrow along um the eastern shore of lake michigan can be very rough out there waves are going to just be tall they're going to be breaking and they're going to lead to maybe some coastal flood concerns and which is why the national weather service on this map has issued um coastal flood advisories a wind advisories right along the coast and i'm even surprised the national weather service has not issued storm watches over lake michigan due to the strong winds that are anticipated however they did issue storm warnings up there um just north there of the upstate portion there of michigan but otherwise on the side note of uh, the heavy snow winter storm warnings winter weather advisories look at the number of freeze warnings and frost advisories and freeze watches that are issued i mean the entire uh, upper Midwest, even all of Tennessee right now, completely in the blue right now. Dark blue, a indication you are under freeze warnings. So if you have not protected your plants yet, make sure you do that today. I am trying to emphasize you. I can only do my part, folks, from my heart to let you all know that you need to protect your plants, your pets, your livestock and protect the outdoor water piping please because i'll tell you what if you want to pay hundreds if not thousands of dollars for a uh, plumage repair that's all on you if you want to pay for livestock because it's damaged due to the cold temperatures that's all on you because i mean these temperatures are going to be cold so you can see these temperatures are going to be uh, really cold and this shows you the plot even so if we roll over this down into the uh, uh lower teens i'm not thinking about nine degrees yet that's a little extreme but boy if that is there's going to be some record low temperatures out of this and this continues all the way into tuesday morning like look at this for tennessee 29 degrees some areas there to the north in the low 20s and this is going to continue i mean look at this um down across st louis missouri in the 20s iowa northern missouri in the teens definitely very cold temperatures and this is going to be well below average as far as those temperature anomalies go according to the gfs you got those temperature anomalies that are going to be pretty substantial i mean 20 to 30 degrees below average i mean that is really really substantial and that's even more substantial by wednesday morning i mean record low temperatures definitely on the table here okay if you're in um if you're in the deep south like alabama mississippi um louisiana arkansas boy missouri really cold out there get used to it because it's going to stick around for a while it's not until we get into probably the weekend when these temperatures will really warm up substantially the snow is going to melt whatever has fallen there's going to be some maybe some elevated river rises due to that all right that's enough with my talk as far as with the weather if you did enjoy today's content make sure you subscribe share this video with their family and friends and leave a like and leave a comment in the section below it really helps out everybody i love you guys i i mean i love doing this um from the heart and everything and i'm looking forward to keeping you all updated on this um tragic crazy weather wildness because we got big changes coming on the way after the weekend what are those changes going to be? Well, find out in tomorrow's video as we dive into that video and taking a look at temperature anomalies and a lot of cool, awesome things for you all. All right. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, and check out our Weather United Discord server today. Link in the description below this video.